Hey everybody, it's your old pal Brian Hunt. Welcome to another episode of 60 Seconds of Risk. This week I'm spending a little time with the family out here in the lovely uh, Broken Boat section of Oklahoma. Got a nice fire going here with a cabin, getting caught up on some reading. And to that point, I thought I'd make this opportunity to do a quick little book review of the book I've been working on recently called Risk, A User's Guide uh, by General Stanley McChrystal. Uh, for people who don't know, uh, General McChrystal was a four-star uh, general who was in charge of all forces in, in Afghanistan towards the uh, end of the Obama administration. And since that time, he's gone on to teach at Yale University in International Affairs and has consulting with companies uh, various sizes about risk. And what I love about this book is talking about risk and not in the aspect of, say, insurance, but it's talking about enterprise risk management as far as what are those things that your organization needs to think about, what sort of steps, initiatives should they be pursuing or implementing to make your organization more resilient to risks that could occur. Uh, he does a great job in this book as far as intersecting you know, concepts with actual reality, with case samples of certain companies. And one thing I really liked about this uh, book, uh, there are a couple of things I really enjoyed about it. But one thing I really sort of struck on with me was the concept of inherent bias that companies might have as far as trying to solve a problem. In that organization, think about it, if you've got a board of directors or senior executive uh, people and they're all trying to solve a problem, but if they all come from the same sort of background, same ethnic origination, same school, live in the same part of the country or the world, and they look at a problem, odds are they're not gonna come up with unique solutions. That's why having diversity among your leadership is critical because people need to have different perspectives when you're trying to solve a problem or a solution. And by having people with diverse backgrounds, ethnicities, part, going to bit parts of the country, the world, different education schools, can bring a hopefully a better solution to the table versus just everybody coming from the same area. And what I also really enjoyed about this book towards the end is that it talks about some examples of how companies need to implement um, tabletop exercises to ensure that things go, sort of plan your people ahead of time before things go wrong. And specifically, I'd use an example here about a company that's a airline company based in Virginia that's having a tabletop exercise to deal with uh, poor weather, which anybody right now has probably seen this got suffered by Southwest Airlines, got implicated. I sure think a lot of people at Southwest Airlines probably should have read this book before this past uh, winter storm had hit. So again, it's called Risk, A User's Guide. General Stanley McChrystal, highly recommend it. Um, as always, guys, if there's a certain topic or individual you want me to see, please post a note here on LinkedIn. You can also follow and subscribe to my channel on YouTube and find tweets to these uh, links to these videos on Twitter as well. Until next time.